Hello and welcome from the heart of the Himalayas. It's an electrifying clash between Nepal and Bangladesh under 16 women's team. It's up and coming. Get ready to witness a spectacle of skill, determination, and passion as the two teams vie for victory on the field. Stay tuned to Sportsworks for 90 minutes of non stop action where every pass and every attempt counts. In the showdown, pride, honor, and the national glory are at stake. So get ready and join us as we embark on this journey with this experience of football match of women's team. So let's go with the lineups. First, we have the lineup of Nepal. We have number 22, Jarna, number 14, Bhumika, number 3, Minmai Shrestha, number 4, Gen. Su Dolmo, number five, Diksha Raimaji, number six, Regina Lama, number seven, Diki Shango Tamang, number eight, Ayusha Guru, number nine, Yam Kumari Bika, number ten, Puja Giri, and number eleven, Bapika Karki. Also, we have the lineup of Bangladesh. It's number twenty-two, the goalkeeper, Yerzan, number five, Arpita, number two, Shilu Roy, number three, Arita, number four, Mariam Bintahana, number six, Tranuching Marma, number seven, Sati Munda, number nine, Alpi Akhtar, number ten, Sreenui Marma, number 11, Fatima Akhtar, and number 20, Suravi Akanda Preeti. Also, we have today's main referee, Meena Tamang from Nepal. Also, the assistant referees, Peldin Sonam and Devi Langbang Debala. So, also, we have uh, the formation. Nepal is playing with the 4 4 2 today. Coach Chakrabadu Tamang has opted for a 4 4 2 for this team. And they have been training in this very field for two weeks. So they might have a competitive advantage. Bangladesh with a 4-4-2 as well. Yerzan will be in the goal as well as two centre backs and two line of four with a 4-4-2 formation today. Coach AKM Saiful Baritu, who has a vast experience in the men's division, especially in the Bangladesh Premier League. He has been in charge of Sheikh Jamal, Avani Limited, Mohammed Sporting, and Sheikh Jamal, Sheikh Russell as well. He's a very experienced coach. He also was the part of the 2010 national team, men's national team. So we will be starting this match shortly. Bangladesh in their regular green and red, and Nepal in their blue kit. These two sides have met six times. And Nepal have only been victorious one time, whereas Bangladesh has won the three fixtures in this division. And the match kicks off. We're watching Sportsworks. And the slide broadcast of Saif on the 16. And it's an attempt in the first minute. Nepal versus Bangladesh is kicking off. That's Anfa Complex. It's a breakthrough by Bangladesh from the right. Sati Munda trying to get, get the ball. The Nepali defense is successful to clear it. It's going to be a corner in the very first minute. It's a throw-in for the Bangladesh from the right-hand side. Bangladesh, who has been the champion in 2017. And in 2023, the last edition, which happened in Bangladesh only, Russia were the champions and Bangladesh were the runners-up. They played four matches, won two matches and lost one. Bangladesh has been investing heavily in women's football and the result was for everybody to see as they won the SAF Women's Championship in Nepal defeating Nepal in the final from the right it's Nepal again trying to go forward Diki Shango loses the ball Bangladesh breaking through the defense of Nepal it's from the left-hand side, it's Suravi. Suravi has already been flagged. So it's going to be offside for Bangladesh. Suravi pretty with a tremendous run from the left-hand side. It was a good idea. But she forgot to read the lines. Nepal, who has been the champion in 2022 edition, a tournament which happened in Bangladesh only. Nepal defeated every team in the double round robin 
league to be the champions in Bangladesh. Once again, it's Bangladesh from the left. Alpi trying to break through. Alpi pushing forward, trying for a through pass. Unsuccessful. Once again, Swimi with the ball. Sati Munda. Nepal getting back the ball now. The team looks a bit stronger than that of the Nepal team. Maybe it's too early to judge because Nepal is playing in their home turf. In fact, they have been training in this very field for two weeks. It was 31 days of training for them in total. Coach Bang experienced. This is going to be a corner, the very first corner for Bangladesh. On the left hand side. It's going to take the corner kick from the left. It's going to be a right. Footed in swinger inside the box. A couple of green jerseys inside the Bali defense. Bali box. It's the fourth minute. Bangladesh with a corner. Players are getting ready. Fatima Akhtar can deliver. Dangerous ball inside. Team box. Fatima with a cross. Might be a header. Sati Munda chasing the ball. Kral has been in the back foot since the very first minute. Fumi Munda with a cross. An opportunity for Bangladesh. This is a terrible miss by Alpi. She could have done better in that, in that situation. Very close to goal. Could have been the first goal for Bangladesh. Nepal. It could be in the back foot now. Once again, it's Bangladesh regaining the ball. And fast command in the midfield. And once again, it's Nepal from the right now. And is coming back off to support the team. From the right, it's Yamkumari. She's not to show her pace, but managed to do so. It's going to be a try for Bangladesh. Met. 2023 South. And there was a 1 1 draw on the under 17 level. Nepal was fourth in position in the 2023 edition under 17, which happened in Bangladesh. Once again, it's going to be a throw in for Nepal. So when Bangladesh are in the back foot now, and slowly and steadily getting back into the ball. But now it's Bangladesh with the ball. Surabi releasing her striking partner, Alpi. She looks a bit of a dribbler, Alpi. On the right hand side, it's Bangladesh Arifa trying to get the ball. Shanta Akhtar finds a teammate, Sati Munda. Time and again. It's a bad control there by the Bangladeshi left back. Once again, Nepal trying to attack. Diki Siangbo. Diki Siangbo is playing in the midfield now. It's going to be an opportunity for Bangladesh, but the goalkeeper comes forward once again. Bangladesh is deprived of the opportunity. From the right, it's going to be Diki. It's Sati Munda for Bangladesh. Sati looks for her teammate. Arifa was trying to gather the ball. Then came the Nepali defender. Oh, 
On the right, it's going to be Arifa with the cross. Good defense there by. He's doing a defensive duty. In his 4 4 2 formation. Bangladesh trying to attack. It was a shot from Kratch. Kranuching Murma. <coughs> Kranuching is approaching the ball, but she couldn't connect properly. Nepal and only won once against Bangladesh in this age ever. That was in 2022 under 15 South. Eventually, the winners. There are three teams involved Nepal, Bangladesh, and Bhutan. And there's a single double 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 from that. Bangladesh in attack. This could be an opportunity. Lofted pass. Lofted attempt, but she couldn't find the net. Alpi Akhtar with the attempt. Alpi could have done better. She has had Two opportunities. Bangladesh. Already three opportunities. Once again. Bangladesh looks to be forward, but it's going to be a free kick for Nepal. The very first. Match for, for both the teams. Again, trying to be familiar. But Nepal already has an advantage as they have played two weeks in this in this very field. They've been training in this field. And both of the teams have a fresh fresh batch of girls being selected for this very tournament. And again, Bangladesh trying to attack. Defensive mistake there by Nepali team. It has been worse actually. Bangladesh coming forward again. Arifa. Queen Weem loses the ball. Bangladesh coming forward. Kamuching Murma. Trying to switch the ball to the left. It's Alpi Akhtar. Alpi. Nepal trying to find their feet. On the right hand side, it's going to be Yamkumari Pika. It's going to be a throwing for Nepal. You can hear the support in the stands. Nepal playing in their home ground, the 12th man behind them. It's going to be a feisty affair today. Nepal combining in the far right side. It's a good combination from the right hand side. Yamkumari Pika trying to move forward. Yamkumari is one of the two strikers for Nepal. Nepal is playing in a 4-4-2 formation today. And they will be relying on the crosses. And you can see the coach of Bangladesh, AKM Saikum Paditu. He was a national player of his time. He has been a coach for various Bangladesh Premier League teams. He collected as many accolades as possible. Bangladesh controlling the match almost totally from the right hand side it's Sati Munda Sati beats the defender moves forward to the right hand side it's going to be the right back Arif Akhtar a little too heavy for the right back to collect it's going to be a goal kick for Nepal Nepal, who were the champions in 2022. In 2019 edition, they have been third. It's across inside the box. It's an opportunity straight into the hands of Jarna Dumra Koti. She was well aware about the positioning of the ball. You can see the replay. Jarna collecting the ball. A little too straight for the goalkeeper to collect. No problem for Jarna. Could have done better. Bangladeshi forward Alpi Akhtar. Time and again, she has been in the dangerous area. Sadly, she has not been deadly enough. 
Once again, Bangladesh trying to move forward. Attacking as the home team. Trying to release the teammate Diki Shangbo Tamang. Diki Tamang is playing in the deep line midfielder role. She will be responsible for distributing the ball to her teammates. It's going to be a handball. The referee Mira Tamang doesn't hesitate to give a free kick for Bangladesh. As we can see in the far left side, we can see the LED location the score lines. This tournament is organized by joint collaboration between SAF and ENFA. Once again, Nepal on the back foot, Bangladesh in the attack. On the left, it's Kumaching with the cross. Straight to Jharna Dumrakruti. She didn't move an inch. As, as easy as it could get. On the right, it's Nepal now. Dikitaman releasing the forward, as it seemed, but Bangladesh collecting the ball. See the Bangladesh midfield looks way too strong for the Nepali midfielders in terms of physicality as well as in technicality. From the right, Bangladesh is attacking, stealing the ball. Sati. It's going to be a foul, a free kick for Bangladesh. Very delicious space to take a free kick. That is if Kunaching Marma can capitalize on it. The goalkeeper is ready in the goal, Jarna Dundakoti. It's going to be Alpi taking the free kick. Alpi Akhtar. Alpi Akhtar. The wonderful free kick. The double save there by Jarna Dumrakuti. She couldn't gather it, gather it the first time. In fact, she was trying to punch the ball away. Once again, Bangladesh moving forward. It's been all Bangladesh in the first 15 minutes. Once again, from the right hand side, Arifa Akhtar. Kanuching mm. playing from the back. Captain Arpita Bishwas slowly and steadily. Bangladesh are approaching forward. Lofted pass, trying to find the forward. Intervention there by the Nepali defense, but Bangladesh again moving forward from the right hand side. Satunda. Satunda loses the ball. This is the replay of the free kick which was taken by the forward Alpi Akhtar. She could have targeted the first bar. In fact, behind the wall. Easily collected there by the goalkeeper. Once again, Sati Munda from the right hand side. Sati. Looking for her teammate now Nepal, trying to attack, trying to find some ground, trying to find an opportunity, but Bangladesh way too strong in the defense. They're winning every battle in the midfield. There's another example on the right. Could be an ex another attack. Nepal looked to be in the back foot. Third in the 2019 edition. That was just before the COVID period. They ranked third 
just behind India and Bangladesh. They did play three matches and lost two. Nepal in the back foot right now. You can see some spectators behind the goal. It's the home team match. Or can they miss it? Now it's going to be a corner. A bit of rash defending there by Nepali defender. It's going to be a corner. Second corner for that matter. No, it's going to be a free kick. I beg your pardon. Nepal. That was a bad clearance there by. That was a bad free kick there by Nepali left back. Regina Lama. There's a fresh batch of girls selected for this very, very important tournament. Nepal, the selection had done in the provincial as well as on the district level. This is an attack for Bangladesh. Nepal rescued again by their goalkeeper. They have been training for one month in Dhaka BFF Academy. In the right hand side, it's Nepal. Trying to find some space there. Yam Kumari Bika. And it's going to be a corner for Nepal. Can Nepal score a goal from here? Been by far one of the best opportunities from a corner from the bar. Just under 20 minutes, it's going to be Gansu. Gansu Dolma from the right. Gansu with the corner, a header. Could have been better there by the Nepali forward. Umika was there. Probably. Nepal. To strike forward now. A bit of ambitious attempt there by the Nepali forward. The captain. Oh, Mika is chasing down the line. You can see it in the replays. This was a corner there by Gyansu Dolma. They've caught it better. The Nepali forward Pujagiri. Once again, Nepal trying to attack from the left hand side. From a throw in this time. This can be an opportunity for Nepal. A shot. Could be connected properly. The Nepali forward. To be Pujagiri. Or Yam Kumari. In that area. Once again, Bangladesh. Trying to attack now. You're watching the broadcast from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to the channel if you want to follow this under 16 women's championship. So now in the commentaries, we will be having Ashish Dal. Thank you, Avinav. Bangladesh heavily attacking from the right hand side and exposing the strength and the backness of the defensive part of the Nepalese side. In the meantime, it will be the second corner for the Bangladeshi side, who has been able to tremendously pressurize the Nepali defense, where Jharna had to s have some double save. And this time it's Fatima Akhtar, who will be taking on the second corner kick for the Bangladeshi side. He's yet to register a goal despite dominating the first 22nd minute of this anticipating match between the host country Nepal Fatima so lifted ball looks delicious and there goes the chance for Kranchung Marma so failed to register on target it was a free header attempt for Marma 
And this care moment for the Nepali side. Young Nepali Chelis quite struggling from the back. Can find the footage in the mid of the field, and that's been the story. Now it's again Sati Munda with the ball. Replacement for the Slovi, Saurubi Preeti. It was now long range at some sort attempt, and it's going to be an easy take for the Zerna Dumra Koti. That's the fourth save that Jarna has to make so far for this game. Still Nepal not been able to set up this midfield plan as was supposed to plan by the head coach Chakrabadu Tamang. It's the right side that the Bangladeshi sides are heavily relying on and it's the right side that the position has been set on for the Bangladeshi women's side. Especially the Sati Munda who has been real soft for the right side the Bangladeshi side. It's created, created a lot of pressure. We can see this keeper, Nepali, young Cheli, Humika. Vastly invested in her defensive duty rather than the offensive one. Similarly now again from the back, Bangladeshi women's side. The domination that they has been displaying for this moment. It's the goal that's lacking for the Bangladeshi side and still they are haunting for it. It's a wonderful footwork, Alpi Akhtar, who's been lively for the centre forward. It's another chance and it's going to be a goal for Saurabhi Preeti. That opens an account for the Bangladeshi side who's been, who was desperate for that first goal. It's a lovely bit of play from the mid, from, started from the back and Alpi Akhtar with a beautiful setup. And you can see in the replay it was it's Saurabhi Preeti with a calm finish and look for the celebration the muted one and now the hoots and hanging on hearing on of Bangladesh Bangladesh in this Enfa complex at the bottom venue it's Bangladesh courtesy of Saurabhi Preeti cool and calm finish leads in this highly anticipated match it's the domination that the Bangladeshi side has been showing it right from the start of this match. Now, Nepal. Bhaptika Karki. Again, it's Bangladesh back on the ball. So, we can see how Saurabh Preeti was composed with the positioning. And the Alpi actor with the dancing move. Again, the goal scorer is on the ball. Arifa Akhtar. Skipper Bhumika. Arifa trying to control the ball, looking for her partner. Now she's found it and... Bangladesh side will restart from the back quite confident on the ball the way they have been holding and they have been dominating the midfield side Nepal women's side has no chance at all so far as the game is progressing on again from the left side it's the Alpi who beautifully set up those first goal the first goal for Sauravi As you can see in the replay, it was Sati Munda. Cool and calm finish for the Sauravi. It's been the trio, Alpi, Sauravi and Sati. It has caused the destruction for the Bangladeshi side. That's the confirmation, the goal scorer, Saurabhi Akanda Preeti. 24th minute strike. Blue, early blue for young Netli side. Puza. Couldn't control the ball, now again it's with the goal scorer. In Bangladesh, that's what they have been doing, relying on their right side heavily. And that's where the attack has come for the side. Sati 
One more time. So Ravi with the ball. This time there was no space given by Diksha Raimazi who stood on her ground. That's going to be a goal kick for Nepalese side. Well, it's the right time to reset and rethink. We liquid the strategy for Chakrabadu Tamang young side. You can see in the replay there was no space given to her by Diksha Raimazi. Is well grounded. She read the movement of the Saurabhi Priti who has been excellent. The danger zone with a good delivery and with the good space she can deliver. She has shown that with her first goal of the match. Defensive duty needed and it's needed very badly for Nepal because it's Bangladesh one more time with the attack and it's going to be Arifa Akhtar and Sati Mundad. The dynamic duo for the right side for this Bangladeshi side. Marma looking for the options to the right side. Arifa couldn't control the ball. It's going to be throw in for the Nikhil side. Consistently, the pressure that Bangladesh team is having on Nepalis side. You can see the way they have been able to control the ball and somewhat dominate the midfield portion. Now, one more time, it's the attack. The pass was intended to LP Akhtar, right in queue, and a few mishap. But again, it's a penalty. And the process of clearing the ball. Nepalese goalkeeper has committed penalty. It's clearly seen the screen. There was a miscommunication, and Alpi Akhtar was fouled by the goalkeeper Jharna Dumrakoti. And it's going to be a penalty kick. And who else than Saurabhi Priti? Saurabh Priti, who scored the first goal for this match, the 24th minute. Can she make it 2 0? A comfortable lead for the Bangladeshi side. Jarna on the other side. With some heroic performance now from this Nepalese side. Mira Tamang advising some of the players to check the lines. Saurabh calm composed some feisty action outside of the box Saurabhi Preeti and it's second goal for Saurabhi Preeti and so for Bangladesh it was a miscommunication and it was a foul by the Nepali goalkeeper Jarna Dumbrakoti that resulted in the penalty kick. And Saravi, while as calmly, she scored her first goal and she did again for her side. It stunned the host. In the replay we can see. She calmly took the penalty kick and there was no chance for the Nepalese goalkeeper Jarna Dumrakoti. As my co-commentator Avinav has been stressing out how the Bangladesh side has been heavily investing on the youth. And there goes another chance. Alpi Akhtar couldn't control the ball. It was a good judgment by the Jarna Dumrakoti. She just closed off the space that Alpi Akhtar wanted to have. As a result, it's going to be another corner for Bangladesh and it's going to be the third corner. It was that 31st minute penalty goal that 35th minute. Now it's another time. Hefty situation but Nepal they have cleared. One more time it's time for them to restart. It's not working strategically. Chakrabadur Tamang would be eyeing for that 45 minutes break. And it's the Nepal that needed the most. Another chance. One more time. Not the solid clearance that the host would, would have wanted. 
It's been that kind of a story for Netflix side. Rezina, Dikcha, Minmaya, Gansa Dolma, who are on the defensive duty for the side today, has been struggling a lot. The amount of pressure that the Bangladeshi frontline center forwards are providing them has been quite hard work. And as a result, Bangladesh is the one who's leading 2 0. With the brace from Saudi Bipriti. Still, there might be some chances again. It's the good pressure. Nepal winning the ball back and searching for the player. Again, it's a miss pass. And it's Fatima Akhtar who will be controlling the ball. And it will serve as a throw in for the Bangladesh side. The confidence and the control that the Bangladeshi women's side, young Bangladeshi women's side, has shown in this game has won the heart of many spectators in the South Asian region. And uh, having an excellent result yesterday. Comprehensive win over Bhutan 7 0. Bangladesh eyeing for such kind of result against the host, as the host is clearly lacking the momentum that they need. It's clearly Bangladesh with the hefty amount of position. Nepal trying to recontrol the match, but again, easily has been disposes. Sati. Good footwork, control. It's trying to pace down the aggression of Nepali side. This Bangladeshi young team. Quite remarkable on the footwork. They know their plans, the visions that they have been setting up for their frontline strikers to make those runs that they need. And they have been delivering despite Alpi Akhtar quite nearly missed in chance. Captain Bhumika, she has space, she has chosen Puza Giri with a turn, but the turn was too heavy for Puza to have a control. A solid clearance from the back. As a result, it's going to be another throw in for Nepal. Bhumika, Bhumika Buratoki. Ayusa, long lifted ball, but it's going to be a problem for Bangladesh as Nepal was looking for an opportunity. And then it was quite comfortable for Yerzin Begum. One more time, I would like to welcome my co-commentator Avinav in the commentary box. Thank you, uh, Ashish. It's a wonderful bit of opinion there by Ashish Dahal regarding the development of Bangladesh football. And it has been imminent in the performances of, an, of Bangladeshi women's team in different levels. We can see the under 16 level as well. They have been really dominating Bangladesh were the champions in 2017. They were the, they were the runners up in 2023. Where they were only second to the European invited team Russia as they clinched the title in 2023 under 17 women's championship. Also, in the senior women's level, Nepal were defeated in the final by Bangladesh. Nepal's own home turf. That was the 2022 edition of Women's SAF. It happened in Kathmandu. And you can see how much the Bangladesh football has developed in the women's level as well. Nepal, on the other hand, trying to restart their development in different levels. As we can see, a lot of tournaments being organized in different women levels. Nepal has a vast potential. As we can see, Nepal have been dominating in various tournaments, especially the recent WAFF Women's Tournament, which Nepal reached the finals. They defeated by five times champion Jordan in the finals, and that too in the penalties. 
Now Bangladesh once again. Trying to control the ball. Here is much more excellent. Very composed. But now it's a mistake from the left hand side. It's going to be Nepal. Puzagiri. Beautiful recovery there by Bangladesh. But in the expense of a corner. <coughs> mistake there by the Bangladeshi team in the defense. Nia yeah, Daman is the main official in the FIFA today. And it's going to be Nepal from the left hand side. It's only the second corner of the match for Nepal. And Gyansu will be taking from the left hand side with the right foot. to take a corner. It leaps out it. And it's going to be good now. Again, it's going to be a corner. You can see the food journalist. Friends of ours is spotting the Italian defender with the ball now again. Nepal will be taking the corner. Gansu Doma. Gansu with the corner. Could have been an opportunity for Nepal. Another cross inside the box there by the Nepali defender, Regina Lama. Going to provide a cross. It's going to be a throw in for Bangladesh. This was an opportunity for Nepal to get back to the game. Good defense there by the Bangladeshi team. Five minutes left of the first half. Nepal trying to get back as much as possible. Once again, Nepal trying to control. More desperate, more needy than they were before. Now again, Nepal trying to find their feet. Only for the Bangladeshi goalkeeper to collect. Yazin Biagam is a shot by Puzagiri. The connection there on the right hand side. The combinations being made in the midfield. Sati Munda. leader in the midfield. She has been conducting the midfield on her own. And that has been capitalized by her forwards. Her teammates, especially Alpi and Sauravi. But now it's Nepal. Trying to move forward Nepal from the right. It's only a throw in for Bangladesh. Nepal, the back foot once again, Bangladesh, trying to move forward, Bangladesh has won three times in the past six meetings in this level, there has been two draws in between these two teams, whereas Nepal has only won once, that was in 2022, and once again, a bit of confusion there in the defense. Gansu clears it wide. It's going to be a thro throw in for Bangladesh. Taking as much time, the Bangladeshi team you can see lack of chemistry there between the defender and the goalkeeper. Gansu cleared it wide. Nepal in problem once again. Bangladesh. Trying to move forward. On the left hand side, it's Shiwili. Shiwili Roy. Suravi. It was Alpi Akhtar from the left, it's Fatima. Fatima lost the ball. Very near to the end of the first half. 
It's Bangladesh 2, Nepal 0. The Nepali team have to climb the mountain. Once again, Bangladesh with the ball. Lifting the ball to the... It's... A bad decision there by the goalkeeper. Could have gone anywhere. The ball bounced right in front of her. Jarna Dumrakuti. Bangladesh getting back the ball again. Only for Nepal to clear. Nepal playing in their home ground. For the very first time in this level. Bhutan has been the host two times. From the right, it's Nepal now. Combinations being made. Diki Tamang releasing the forward. The line is already off. Slight miscalculation there by the body forward. Free kick for Bangladesh. A couple of minutes will be added. And the first half, Nepal need to come back. If they can only get one goal back in the first half, that could be a good equation for the Nepali team to come back in the second half. Once again, Gyansu trying to reach for a forward. Trying for a cut back there, Bhaptika Karki. Bangladesh regaining the ball. A switch to the right hand side. It's the SAF under 16 Women's Championship happening in Kathmandu. The 1st to 10th March. And if you want to follow this broadcast, you can follow Sportsbox YouTube channel. Once again, Nepal trying to put some pressure. Getting a corner just before the break. It's going to be Two minutes. For the Fisher. Subhasen Hangma. Showing two minutes in the board. This can be a lifeline for Nepal in the very first half. Nepal do not want to lose the very first game. And that too against Bangladesh. The wind is playing its part here. It might be playing its part in the corner as well. Across. Which is put wide by the set piece taker, Gansu Dolma. Could have done better with the set piece. One minute gone of the two minutes given. Nepal. Trying to come back to the game, trying to move forward, trying to revive themselves. Switching on to the left hand side. Wonderful pass there by the midfielder, Kranuching Murma. Nepal, who has been dominating team in the senior men's. Senior women's division. They are ranked 105 in the FIFA World Rankings. They recently lost the WFA final on penalties against Jordan. Before that, they defeated Lebanon in the semi final in the dying minutes. With the help of a goal from Preeti Rai. who was one of the products of the under-17 team which played the 2019 
She was a part of the under-15 team in 2019, which happened in Bangladesh. Once again, it's going to be Bangladesh from the right. Bangladesh are dominating this match. And this is going to be Ladies and gentlemen, half time is scoring. Very, very difficult Nepal, match for Bangladesh Nepal. Two. Bangladesh with two goals. They have the to come back really strongly. Gain some points from this match. Or even a single point. Nepal. We're in the back foot for the majority of the minutes. Bangladesh looked the superior team with their physicality and their technical play. Just to let our viewers know, Nepal has only defeated Bangladesh once in the six attempts. They have been lots of encounters in different levels, but in this level, in the under 15 and under 16, 17 level, Nepal has only defeated Bangladesh once. You can see the half time score it's Nepal 0, Bangladesh 2. Now we will be having a break, and after that, we will be bringing you. The second half of the SAF Under-16 Women's Championship, the match between Nepal and Bangladesh. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to the second half of SAF Under-16 Women's Championship 2024. The fixer between Nepal and Bangladesh. Bangladesh had an impressive first half start, whereas the host has been struggling. As you can see, the young Nepali chilies are for, up for the hurdle. And these are the goals that Bangladesh's 20 number jersey Saurabhi Preeti had her breast completed in the first half. That was the first goal which she scored on the 24th minute, and that was a cool, calm penalty finish. This was struck with the miscommunication between the goalkeeper Zarna Dumrakoti and Ganso, which resulted in falling the Bangladeshi centre forward Saurabhi Preeti. So it took 30 second minute to complete the brace. Now the Nepalese side will be having the first substitution. It's going to be Rabina Bike, who will be joining in. In place of Diki Sangbo Tamang, the jersey number seven midfielder. So Rabina Bike is the first change for this young Nepali side. And now the second half has kicked off at the end for complex Sadabato where Nepali side will be looking for that momentous comeback. It's the first match for the host, second match for the championship. And early on it's the Bangladeshi side who will be pressing on from the left hand side. Fatima Akhtar eyeing for the ball competing with one on one with the Nepalese keeper Bumika Buratoki Silly Roy Bumika's header clearance it's not so effective again one more time it will be Fatima Akhtar and the ball swift clearance it to be delivered Nepal has to dominate that midfield which Bangladesh did for the first half it's where the open play came for the Bangladeshi side the first half they heavily relied on their right hand trio especially Arifa Akhtar Pres and Sati Munda what a footwork he has got and the Alpi Akhtar has been the handful threat for Nepalit side yet another cross attempt and the attempt sort of blocked in Mayas Resta it was yet half clearance Again, you can see the domination right from the start of the second half for the Bangladeshi side. Fully committed to the aggression. They're not just happy with the two goals that they had scored on the 31st, 24th and 31st minute. They want to kill the game. That's the result of the first match we had. India dominating the against the Whitney's young side. The final scoreline was 7-0. Might be devastating for the Nepali side if that midfield is not yet correct. The domination that the Bangladeshi women has been presenting, it's tremendous effort. They have made, especially the Nepalese backline, work much harder than they anticipated. Yet, still the second half just commencing. It's a good move for the Nepali side. And to keep the position, long ball lifted. Puza was the target man. Couldn't control the ball. Ayusa Gurung it was. He wanted to lift the ball, but he on the other side. It's again Bangladesh. Saurabhi Preeti had registered brace in her name for this match. I'm for that hat trick. The Bangladeshi attack resumes. Far more concentrated on the right side throughout the first half. They have been continuing that strategy. It's a weakening part for the Nepalese defense side. Captain Bhumika Khadka has been highly committed towards her defensive duty rather than the duty of attacker. Left winger position, the keeper plays from. 
But it's no such instant that Nepal had the space for the open play. There was one short target attempt for Nepal, which was relatively very much offside position. Which is the offside for the Nepalese side and the other hand side the other side Bangladeshi it's the, the trial that has been building up the pressure so Ravi good run toward the right hand side eyeing for a cross Cross seemed to be sloppy, but again, it's the position with the Bangladeshi. But quick recovery from Nepal. It's been the same story so far for the Nepalese side. But the controlling of the ball has not been as far as it was the consciousness of the Bangladeshi side. It's exactly what the Bangladesh wants. They have been rotating the ball right, left side. Cross attempt for the Saurabhi. And Zerna is quite clinical with the save. And see on the replay, Fatima Akhtar with the cross. It's a good space that Saurabhi had. So he had to make a long run to approach that delivery. Rabina after the through ball for the captain, Bunika Budatoki. Yarzan Begum has had the limited role for this match. Marma. Siliroi. Lifted the ball. Dicha Raimazi. Chasing the ball. Serezinal. I'm. Fatima lose the control against the Ganso. But again, it's Bangladesh Siluroi. Now Fatima Akhtar. Bumika Buratoki had to stop the pace of Fatima Akhtar. In the meantime, it will be the fourth corner for the Bangladeshi side. Swiftly changing the transition that has been the high pleasing moment for the Bangladeshi side on the right side is not working they have been switching the play to the left hand side and they had the capable players delivering those swift delivery Fatima with the fourth corner of the match for Bangladesh space for Bangladeshi suitor it was the center of back Binta Hana couldn't place the shirt on target yet another off target third registered for Bangladesh. That's the sixth one. Bumika. Yankumari <laughs> Dike wanted to show her physical presence, but again it's Bangladesh swiftly cut out. The initial attack that was planned by Marma. Siluroi. Fatima Akhtar, Halpi Akhtar, Marma, switching the play to the right hand side and it's now Sati Munda. That's another chance, Api Akhtar, instead of taking the shots, he wanted to place it for her striker Saurabhi Priti, who is eyeing for that hat trick. Rabina. The intended pass to Puzagiri was not on to the point, and yet again the position is with the Bangladeshi side. Marma. Arifakta plays back to her center defensive partner, Arpita Biswas. Hana. Siliroi. Merma, Merma to Fatima Akhtar. It's again the RP, RP Akhtar and the ball. The mount of position and the ball switching that the Bangladeshi women's side has delivered. And soon it's been quite hard for Nepalese 
player to relocate the situation, especially with the switching of the ball. Cross attempt. This was. And fall, a chance for Nepal at Yam Kumari. What a presence of mind for Silu Roy. So had to make that run back to stop that attack, and which he did. Isa Gurung had a chance. Wanted to take a long range shot. The space was not delivered again. The play has been stopped by the referee Mira Tamang. Fizios has been called on. The moment she wanted to clear the ball, she had some shoes with her thighs. For the time being, it's, it's time that Nepal would really want to focus on the weakness that they had in the first half. That's the replay. It's caught. The Bangladeshi striker, Saurabhi Priti, it was. And what a loss it would have been. She so has registered brace for this match. It was the strike on the 24th minute, which was delivered by a very good assist from Sati Munda, the jersey number seven, right winger for Bangladeshi side. And then it was the penalty. Mira Tamang right on point to stop the match, and it will be the drop ball for Nepal. Well, the game resumes with the drop ball. Ravina BK, the lifted ball for Puzagiri. But it's quite comfortable for Yarjin Begum. Long balls are coming for Nepal. It's compared to the first half. Swift changes in the midfield. Ravina BK delivering some couple of chances. For the Nepali centre forwards, Yam Kumari BK and Kuzagiri. It's just the execution and the finishing that the Nepali sides are missing so far for this match. It's the 57th minute. And yet Nepal is yet to register short on target. It's a good run, Alpi Akhtar. Nice through ball. Sati Munda has been caught offside. Assistant referee has risen up her flag and that's the second upside call for Bangladesh it was the first one in the first half at the earlier moment of the match dead ball to start to resume the match between Nepal and Bangladesh the host trail in the first half with the brace from Saurabhi Preeti. The recent time the Bangladeshi women's team has rose to the occasion. But long ago the senior team were crowned champions for the SAF Senior Women's Championship which was held in Nepal at the Dasrat Stadium. They defeated the host Nepal in the final. Now again the long ball and it's a chance for Puzagiri but the flag has been risen up. And Puza is not happy, so looks disappointed. It was a good delivery. So looked upside in the replay. And you can see the response after the flag had risen up in place of her. Slightly better approach than compared to the first half for the Nepalese side. Especially with the announce of Ravina BK in place of Diki Sangutama. It looks like the strategy that Nepalese side will be eyeing on for the comeback 
that the desperate one. It's good footwork. Alpi Akhtar. A massive space for her to deliver. She waits, cutbacks, and now chains the momentum to the midside. And it's the crouching, crouching Marma. Yet another off target set registered for the Bangladeshi side. The swiftness that the Alpi Akhtar had to had her in her run and that's the cert that Kranu Singh Murma is very off target up to the standard of which she can deliver it's a good ball good awareness by Alpi Akhtar who saw the space just at the delicious area that uh, some wonderful goals has been produced the first goal was tremendous it was a wonderful round of play from the Bangladeshi frontline strikers. Bumika. Competing against Fatima Akhtar, but Akhtar is the winner, and there's another chance. Alpi will have the position. Bangladesh. Again, see, will look for the spaces. Good footwork. Alpi Akhtar. Left hand side, that's a cross. First third attempt for the clearance was not swift. Yet again, Bangladesh. Marma wanted to have the shot, didn't find the power, near the execution was perfect. Bhumika. It's going to be goal kick for Nepal. The agility and the aggressive nature that the Bangladeshi strikers, especially Alpi Akhtar, Sati Munda, Saurabhi Priti and Fatima Akhtar has displayed. It's quite tremendous at this age group. The presence, of the match, the game awareness, it's pretty remarkable despite it's the under 16 championship. Silu Roy. Marma lifted the delivery. One more time, it will be Silu. Rabina will chase the ball. Arif Akhtar swiftly plays into Sati Munda. Mirma. Arifa from the far right hand side. The crosses is there and it's a chance of Patrick, but she misses it merely by a margin. What a delivery it was from Arifa Akhtar and what a play it was from the right hand side. Credit has to go to Arifa Akhtar for that delivery. Saurabhi Preeti just missed by an inch. It was the hat-trick opportunity as you can see on the replay. Just lacked the execution on the giving the direction. The weight of the pass was pretty awesome. Yet another chance for Bangladesh but this time the touch was not up to the mark. But what a display of movement it was from the Bangladeshi side. My oh my, what a deadly team the Bangladesh side has been playing with the host. The home condition, it was quite favorable for the Nepali side. They had trained in this particular venue for a couple of weeks time. And it's the Bangladeshi women that has been dominating the game. The way they have present the game, despite the scoreline not reflecting wow, what kind of domination the Bangladeshi side has present. But my oh my. The display of character has been tremendous for the Bangladeshi side. Skipper Arpita Biswas commanding from the back. Not that work again from the right hand side. It will be Sati Munda. Early ball delivered for Alpi Akhtar but it was quite heavy. As you can see on the replay, this was what I was talking about. Look at the link of play between the three trios. Murma and the delivery from Arifa Akhtar. Saurabhi Preeti could have done better, should have done better. She missed her chance, hat trick chance. A tremendous play. Fatima. It's 
again going to be another throw in for Bangladeshi side. Siliroy will compete for the ball, wins the ball, randomly throws in the ball. Now the position with the Niplit side. Volleyball lifted. It has been the center role. The anchor man has been Saurabhi Preeti, who can deliver the goal, and that what the Bangladeshi rest of the players are eyeing for. Fighting with the race, and it's the ball who wins the race. Sati Munda. She acknowledges the through ball. It's quite heavy. She had a good chase of the ball. In the end, it was the ball who was the winner. Half clearance is it's not doing well for the Nepalit side. Again, you can see, you can find the green and red shirt all over the pitch, especially in the opposition halves. And that's what has surprised many of the host audiences. Another beautiful, delicious ball for Alpi Akhtar. Alpi Akhtar thought there would be Saurabhi Priti somewhere down the line, reading her runs. In the end, just a simple pass for the Nepalese goalkeeper Jarna Dumrakoti. Now the play has been stopped. We can see a Bangladeshi player lying on the pitch. Physio has been called out. She has been warning to Bumi Gabura Thoki. So the stretcher has been asked. I just want to confirm the player that we are looking at. If it's Saurabhi Priti, then that's going to be a big blow for the Bangladeshi side. She is the one who has had breast in this game. She completed her brace in the first half with the 24th minute cool and calm finish and the 31st minute penalty. Uh, that's not a good side for the Bangladeshi side despite having 2-0 caution against the host. That will be the worrying sign. Moving on with the tournament because the match between the India will be the one that Bangladeshi side will be eyeing at. It looks, we can confirm that Saurabhi Priti has been brought back. So now there will be a forced substitution on place of Saurabhi Priti. We can see jersey number 8, Uma Kulsum, lining up in place of Saurabhi Priti. It's the same that couple of minutes ago she missed her hat-trick chance it was a wonderful delivery by Arif Akhtar failed to give the direction so yeah it's confirmation that and you can see on the replay where she lost her footing it was not long ago that she lost her footing and it's the second time you can see the pain that stretched has caused and it's a forced substitution for Bangladesh another overhead kick attempt for Puzagiri couldn't execute well now it's on the counter side the Bangladeshi side it's the Sati Munda looking at Alpi Akta who is chasing the ball and it's the ball that wins the race scarce moment for Nepalit side who was on the verge of attacking on the other side it's a quick counter on play a touch, the pass from Sati Munda, quite heavy for Alpi Akta. And the substitution is in place of Saurabhi Priti, we have Uma Kulsum. Like for like substitution for the Bangladeshi centre forward. And no way the desperation from the supporters for the host nation has risen up. Risen up at the NFA Stadium. Enfa Stadium, Enfa Complex, Sadabato. The chant of Nepal, Nepal. Showering the Enfa Complex. You can see some brightness in the attacking side of for Nepal. Again, it's caught upside. Puza. That's the second upside against Puza.
Nepal has that belief. Nepal will believe that they can come back after a prolific goal scorer for Bangladeshi side being stretched off with the straighter. There has been some space. It's on to the execution of the Nepalese side. Right at moment, it's Bangladeshi side who has again regained the control. Baptika. So he delivers the ball to Yam Kumari. On the right hand side, Yam Kumari looking for that space. He has got space now, waiting for her partner, Gyanso. Gyanso's delivery. It's out of a handball. Refi says play on, and there will be another chance for Nepal, but slightly. The pass was not up to mark. Yet another counter opportunity. This time, well blocked. Dixia Raimazi was it. But the Mira Tamang first the play to stop. See, we'll go back to that incident. We'll see on the replay. Dixia had to stop the attack. In the meantime, she has injured herself. The supporters are on the feet. Giving every bit of motivation to the host side who has been trailing by the two goal that was scored by Saurabhi Preeti. It's good news for the Nepali side that Saurabhi Preeti has been subbed off. It was a forced substitution. On the other side we can see some Bangladeshi fan as well. That's a very good side to see. Promoting under 16 championship. Here at Enfa Complex. The chant of Nepal, Nepal and Bangladesh, Bangladesh has been souring up this complex. Young kid. The audience. Rabina Bika, what ha this place he has, it has been for her. She was introduced in the second half. She had some good deliveries placed for Puzagiri. Yeah, we can confirm that. In place of Dixia, there will be a substitution. Substitution for Nepal. So, so Asika Karki. Karki. Jersey number 15, Kriti Satama. And Jersey number 5, Dixia Raimaji is replaced by Jersey number 12, Asika Karki. Nepal got the water, Kiladi Pori Water, Hoykosa, Jersey number Harabak, Dapti Karki Kostanba, Jersey number Pondaki Kritisat, Majan Pavis, Gordon Hoykosa, Jessica Jersey number Pans, Dixia Rai Majiko, Jersey number Baraki, Asika Karki, Majan Pavis. We have got the confirmation on the substitution for the Nepalese side. Baptika Karki has been replaced by Kritisa Tama. Kritisa will be playing on that centre back role. And Asika Karki in place for Dikcha Raimazi. Nepal, Dikcha Raimazi having the first substitution. Fresh foot. And a glimmer of hope for the comeback. Substitution for Bangladesh, jersey number 11, Fatima Akhtar is replaced by jersey number 18, Anana Murmubiti. So we have another substitution for Bangladesh side, jersey number 18, Biti, will be in place of Fatima Akhtar. The tempo has risen up for the game, with both the team having two substitutions each. In Nepal, it's the host that is trailing thanks to the brace from Saurabhi Preeti.
Kutisa. Kutisa Tama. Just a few moments ago, into the play, into the field, in place of Baptika Karki. Straightly into the action. That's another upside call. Against Alpi Akta. Gansu. Gansu will eye for that long ball. Puzagiri and Yamkumari Bika was awaited for the delivery. He's not up to the bar. And another chance. Gone begging for Nepal. Bumika. Good physical presence against just number five. It was the captain for Bangladesh, Arpita Biswas. Who lose, who lost the footing. Throw in resumes the game and another chance for Bangladesh. Arifa. Merma will give a chase and will win the race. Alpi Akta waiting in the areas, the box area, but Sot was not up to the par. We know what Arifa can deliver. Not long ago, she had this delicious ball deliver for her center forward, Saurabhi Preeti, which she missed by an inch. It was a hat trick chance missed for her. Another substitution for Nepal. It will be jersey number 18. Purnima Tharu will be replacing the captain Bhumika Burathoki. So Purnima will be replacing the skipper of Nepalese women's side, Bhumika Burathoki. It's definitely so the introduction of the fresh feet. Meantime, it's a good ball for Alpi. Alpi couldn't give the direction, and it was a very good save by Zorna Dumbrakoti for Nepal. Yet, Bangladesh is an attack. And another good save for Zorna Dumbrakoti. What a beautiful set of play it was a very wonderful through ball it was for Alpi Akhtar who just couldn't give the direction one more time Bangladesh lost a chance to make their difference of three goal this is where Nepal might look back and say we got a chance we got a chance it's the first goal that Nepal will need definitely with the start of the second half Nepal has been quite lively Yarzin Begum relatively very quiet this match still Nepal has failed to register any sort on target despite having two short of target for Nepalese side the other side Bangladesh have been dominating the game it's just a score line but it's not been on their favor Marma cut off back to Marma now this is no rush they have been rotating the ball successfully that's bad that has that has been the part of the plan so as we can see, the switching of the plates, the switching of the side, it's been quite wonderful to observe and look. Good awareness. Good cross, Alpi Akta. She just lost her footing. She wanted to cut back. And she half committed the fall. It's against the play centre back, Kriti Satamang. And see on the replay, yeah. She just got out. And she lost the ball. The chase was on for the Kriti Satamang. One for the team. Tensed face Nepalese supporters here at Enfa Complex at the Bato.
definitely Nepal did have the game of two halves. The first half they were no near, nowhere near the ball. It was all about Bangladesh's domination, especially in the midfield. The way they commanded the midfield, it was, it was pretty looking good for them. Despite having two goals cushion in the first half, it's Nepal slightly having a glimmer of hope. A few chances with a few deliveries. And slightly given up the sparkle of hope for the Nepalese and the host side. It again cut out. The middle of the park, it's Murma. Murma again eyeing for that long range of tape, which he had. So just failed to keep on target. Sati Munda wanted to create a space. Last moment clearance by the Asika Karki, who was replaced. He came in place of Bhaktika Karki not long ago. So couldn't do Asika Karki what she was asked by Rezina Lama. It's back the position with the Bangladeshi side. Take a shot, block on the target. Can be another chance. Swiftly, half clearance, still not dangerous side of this. Inside has been the clearance for Nepal. It's not been up to the mark been quite hefty the time of the clearance and the position is again back with the Bangladesh but this time it's been quietly composed there has been delay for that quick ball release Purni Matharu will be working as a lone striker for Nepal who replaced the captain Bumika Buratoki but yet to fail any kind of presence in this match so he's been waiting for that long ball which we assume that has been the strategy for Nepal in the second half. Yet, that was evident by the attempt by Ayusa Gurung, where she wanted to place the ball. It's all about the long ball that Nepal has been relying on, and it's not the result that they have been having. Seeing the domination of Bangladesh in the midfield area, the delivery has not been up to the par. It will be chased for Purnima. Which again will be dealt calmly by the Bangladeshi centre back. It's the pair of the captain, Arpita Biswas and Marine Bintahana. No, done no harm whatsoever by the Nepalese side, Yam Kumari. She had space, she took some time to generate. But again, it's, it's not the play that the Nepal wanted to have. Who's uh, had a shot? It, it has been calmly collected by the goalkeeper years in Begum. Marma. Alpi, Alpi Akhtar. Was, he was in two mind whether it, it was the attempted shot or a cross. But whatsoever, it was a danger for Zorna Dumrakoti. It's a weighted ball. And thankfully, the ball just crossed the net. That was an incident that happened in the first half of this match. Where it was dangerously falling at the feet of Zorna Dumrakoti, which he was calmly dealt so wanted to leave the ball. That's the last thing Nepal want in this match. Having the composure in the second half. Quietly stopping the Bangladeshi centre forwards to make their presence on that very D area. The D box area. The first half it was dominated by the Bangladeshi player. Good chances, but still failed to convert. Now it's going to be a free kick for Bangladesh. The fall has been committed against Arifa Akhtar. It's Ais Asika Karki who committed the fall. It's in the danger area, no doubt on that. And we know that Alpi Akhtar can deliver for Bangladesh.
three men. So the three players has been involved by the Nepalese goalkeeper Zorna Dumrakoti. So it's we can expect the cross rather than the short attempt. So this has been at the far right side. Halpi, Halpi's cross. There was a chance for jersey number four, Mariam Bintahana. She couldn't just guide the ball to the direction that she intended. It was a beautiful delivery. She was free. It's the header attempt by the jersey number three, Arifa Akhtar. She confused her. She was not expecting the ball to be landed on her feet. It's a fail to deliver the direction. It could have been third goal for Bangladesh. Yam Kumari Bika looking for that set piece and yes Mira Tamang agreed the appeal that she made it was a high foot fall commit against Yam Kumari Bika of Nepal Gyansu Lama Gyansu Dolma Lo so we can see on the replay it was a chance from the free kick yeah, she didn't expect the ball to land on her feet. There was a pressure from behind, but yet she failed to execute. Purni Matharu wanted to play that one to ball with her partner. Again, it's been the steal by the Bangladeshi side. The quick ball tries back, quickly asking the position to be on their hand. It's that sort of display that Bangladesh has impressed everyone here at the Anfa, Anfa complex Sadabato. another ball for Alpi Akhtar who has a tremendous mark on this match Alpi's delivery trying for the pass Just couldn't fail fail to deliver Marma Alpi first time ball attempted balls back to her feet Silu, Silu Roy. One more time, today's referee, Mira Tamang has stopped the play. As we can see, Bangladeshi player is down on the ground. The physios has been called. We need to wait for the confirmation regarding what the issue that the players, the player has faced. Stretcher has been called one more time. It's not a good sign for the Bangladeshi side as the tournament progresses. It's not a good sign, rather, because it was the same that Saurabh Priti could not convert her brace into hat trick today. She was forced off the play, and it's not looking a good sign for the another Bangladeshi player. In this case, they will be losing two of the vital players moving on with the tournament it's the fixture that every team wants to do better against India India having a brilliant start to the campaign thumping 7-0 win against Bhutan so again it's not a good sign for the Bangladeshi side it's the first substitution they have to use and play. And we can see the jersey number 14 will come to the piece in place of Crouching Murma, the jersey number 6, who was quite resi resilient in her midfield defensive duty. But as Saurabhi Priti was subbed off, she was given the chance to play as a centre forward. But she had attempted a couple of off-target shots. And now it's jersey number 14, Almina, who will be replacing her. It's the confirmation that Jersey number six, Kranuching Murma, who has been replaced by jersey number 14, Almina. Bangladesh had a couple of four substitution, especially in place of the goal scorer, 
the only goal scorer for the match. One more time from the left side, it's Bangladesh's winger Alpi Akhtar, Siluroy. Half clearance and it's throw in for Bangladesh. Siluroy with the throw. Alpi Akhtar. It was quite heavy, the second touch that she intended to have space that he wants to create to deliver the pass so yeah we can confirm that Omar Kulsum will be the lonesome center forward for Bangladeshi side Marma Yamkumari Yamkumari Bika not the balls he wanted to deliver to her Center forward Purnima Tharu, who has been long awaited in the second half, as he has been introduced in this half. Nepal has merely registered any shot. We saw one loot shot taken by Puzagiri. So the 90 minute time is up, and we. So the confirmation is that five minutes. The additional time yeah, has been added. added As we can understand there had been a lot of forced substitution in the match. It's the time that has been added so far. Bangladesh will be happy with whatsoever the result they have had or is having in this match. Nepal, for them, it's the glimmer of last hope. Purni Matharu will compete against Begum, but it's the Begum who lifts the ball and there will be another chance for Bangladesh. Can it be? But to the rescue is Nepalese centre back. Half clearance, and it will serve as a, another corner kick for Bangladesh. It will be the fifth corner kick for the Bangladesh in this match. You can see on the replay. It's a good. Good attempt by the Bangladeshi side, and it will be Almina Murmu Bithi who will be taking that shot. Murmu Bithi. Murmu's delivery. Sati Munda lurking in the far left side of the post, couldn't control the ball. It's again, going to be a throw in for Bangladesh. So one more substitution for Nepal. Yamkumari Bika will be replaced by jersey number 19, Sabina Tama. Substitution for Nepal, jersey number 9, Yamkumari Bika is replaced by jersey number 19, Sabina Tama. She wants to impress. It is the right time for all the Nepalese girls. Despite scoreline not justifying how dominating the Bangladesh has been in this match. It's the credit that Nepalese girl fought back in the second half. Apart from that chance Saurabhi Preeti had in the 60th minute, it was not so straight for the Nepal in the second half. Good ball, Alpi Akhtar. It was Uma Kulsum who wanted to had that half volley attempt on the second try. It's going to execute well, but yet again, the position is back with Bangladesh midfield. They will be happily keeping the ball. That's what they have been doing throughout this match. Rotating the play, rotating the sides. The touches has been sublime. The first touches has been quite good. Siluroy. Alpi Akhtar. Hana to Captain Arpati Arpita Biswas. Massive credit to the foundation of Bangladeshi women's team and how they have been building the youth structure, especially in the women's department. It's quite evident the way they displayed their performance today. It was very dominating despite 
playing against the host nation they have dominated the match yes we can say the score line not reflecting how dominating the bangladeshi side was my oh my what a future this team will have the balance between the attackers midfield and the center back yes we can admit years and begun yet to be tested on this tournament but what a boost this bangladeshi side will have going on with the tournament especially facing with the indian side that started well siluroy one more attempt cross attempt it was and it is it has been blocked by gansu gansu dalmalo so yet another corner might be the last opportunity to raise their goal cushion to 3 for bangladesh and it will be almina bithi who will be taking that corner kick one last chance for bangladesh to increase their lead against the host nepal expression going on at the nepali box bangladesh wants to kill this match with the statement playing against the host good delivery it was a free header yet again she failed to give the direction it was hana the center back maryam binta hana you can see the ample space that she got it's funny how she just couldn't give the target uma kulsum it was and that's the final whistle blown by today's match referee mira taman the host failing to impress on the first match for their country it's bangladesh who steals the show with a wonderful display of match final score line is nepal 0 bangladesh 2 and gentlemen the next match of saf under 16 total championship will be played between bhutan and nepal in We can see both the teams lining up for the handshakes. It's a wonderful bit of sportsmanship. It was a contested match between Bangladesh and Nepal, but in the end, it's Bangladesh who impressively starts the campaign of SAF Under 16 Women's Championship. The full-time score says Nepal zero, Bangladesh two, and thanks to the. Brace by Sauravi Preeti on the 24th and 31st minute of the first match. It's the Bangladesh who takes that vital three points against the host Nepal. So we'll be back tomorrow with. We'll be back the day after tomorrow with the next coverage. Keep watching Sports Works for all the SAF Under 16 Women's Championship coverage. Till then, it's bye bye from the Combox. Namaste.